Hey guys, I'm Lacey Stevens with Fit by 50 Plus coming to you today from beautiful Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, you just missed the tornado sirens. It's about noon. The tornado sirens do go off uh, every Saturday at noon. Thankfully, you know, just to make sure that they work and, and make sure that we're all prepared, uh, which means that we are in the heart of Tornado Alley. But on top of that, we are also about 20 minutes away from uh, beautiful Stockyard City in Oklahoma City. If you ever get a chance, definitely visit Stockyard City. Today, we are with Nile Burge. If she looks familiar, it, it's for a reason. It's because there was such an overwhelming response for the Tai Chi video uh, that she led. Now, Nile again is a certified Tai Chi instructor through OU Medicine, yes, through OU Medicine, and she is here. She's going to go through the moves uh, today. There's a certain style of Tai Chi that you teach. Yes. So it's the same style, but this time we're going to have her just go through alone without me as a hindrance, <laughs> and we're going to get a better view from the front and, and, and side, but also from head to toe. So we are definitely looking forward to that. Um, enjoy. Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Fit by 50 Plus. My name is Nile Burge and today we're going to do uh, Tai Chi for Better Balance. And if you guys are a follower of this channel, which I hope you are, you may have seen me and Lacey previously do an instructional Tai Chi video. So you may be familiar with what Tai Chi is and kind of all the good benefits of it, but I'd like to give you just a quick rundown of some of the benefits of Tai Chi. So it is a really good program Program to sort of help you get your balance and keep your balance because as we know as we age we sometimes get to where we maybe um, have some chronic health conditions or maybe be taking some medications that may give you a little bit of diz dizziness or unsteadiness on your feet and so you want to be able to avoid those situations where you may feel unsteady and you may lose your balance. So Tai Chi helps with that. So the version of Tai Chi that I teach is called For Better Balance and we only do eight moves and we do those same eight moves. So once you get the basic eight moves down, then you've got it. Then you just continue to practice it back to back to back. So today what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna start with a quick warm up, and then we'll go through the eight moves. And I will talk you through each one, but we're just gonna kind of flow through them, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and get started with our warm up. So what we do is Tai Chi is a whole body workout. Now it's not gonna be where you're gonna be running or um, having to wear your dripping sweat or anything like that. It's not that type of workout. Um, it's more about balance and flexibility. So we want to make sure that we warm up ourselves from our head to our feet, but we start with our feet first, okay? So we're gonna start with our feet, and I always start with my right leg just because I'm right-handed, but you can start with either side because we do both sides. Tai Chi is about balance, so we're gonna do each uh, exercise on both sides of our body, okay? So we're just gonna start with our foot, and you're just gonna wave your toes just to kind of get your feet kind of woken up and get your circulation system going, get everything moving and grooving this morning. We just want to wave, say hi, say hi to everybody. And then we're going to squash a bug, okay? So just kind of move your feet around or do the twist, however you want to call it, <laughs> do the twist there, okay? Then we're going to do the other side, wave our toes, wave, 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 say hello to our toes. Feels good, right? And then squash a bug, same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna move to our knees, and this one might be a little bit challenging for some of our folks, but that's okay. If you're not able to crouch all the way down, you just do a small crouch. But if you can, go ahead and crouch down for me and just circle your knees. So we just wanna loosen up our knees and get some blood flow into that area. You can hear my bones cracking, but that's okay. <laughs> we're stretching out, so that's what we wanna do. And then we're gonna go in the other direction, okay? So just do a quick circle with your knees. Good deal. All right, so now I want you to uh, widen your stance out a bit and have your um, feet shoulder width apart. So I want your hips basically over your knees and um, in alignment with your shoulders, okay? So you're just gonna do some big circles with your hips, like hula hoops, okay? So just big circles. And again, doesn't matter which direction you go in first, because we're gonna go both directions, okay? So just big circles, 
Then the other direction. Big circles. Ooh, lose my balance already. Goodness. Big circles. All right, good deal. So now we'll go to our shoulders. So we're just gonna do some good shoulder rolls. Just get that, get those shoulders nice and loosened up. Big, big shoulder rolls here. And you're just rolling back first. Or again, if you wanna go forward first, it doesn't matter because we're gonna do both, okay? Then go to the uh, front and just roll your shoulders. Now, if you do have something like a shoulder injury or you know something where you know I don't want you to push yourself to where you feel pain, you just want to uh, roll it uh, gently. But if you're not able to do the roll, you can just do a shrug. Up, down, up, down, okay? Just like that. And then just stretch your arms out to the side and you're just gonna do some circles. Just some small circles. Just wanna get your arms moving, okay? Just some small circles here. And then other direction, circles there, okay? And then the very last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll our neck. So we're just gonna get a good stretch on our neck, okay? So you're just gonna roll it all the way around. And again, doesn't matter which direction you go in, because we're gonna do both, okay? All the way around. But again, if you have some issue that prevents you from being able to roll your neck, you can also just turn from side to side, just like that, okay? Super simple, all right? All right, good deal. So are we feeling nice and warmed up? I hope we are. All right, good deal. So now we'll go ahead and move right into our Tai Chi moves and we'll go ahead and just get started. Now our basic uh, tai Chi, what we call our Tai Chi neutral stance. So you wanna stand again with your feet shoulder width apart and you wanna have your um, feet uh, aligned over your knees, knees over hips, hips over shoulders, everything in alignment, okay? So you wanna make sure you're here. Also, you wanna make sure that you keep your knees what I call soft or bent. So just keep a slight bend in your knees throughout this whole process, okay? So what we wanna do is start with a sunrise and a sunset. We wanna take some good, deep cleansing breaths. We're just, we're just gonna do a couple of those, okay? So we'll start out with our sunrise. So deep breath in, sunrise. And blow it out, sunset. Let's do one more, that felt good. Here we go, sunrise. And sunset. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with our basic Tai Chi move, and it's called hold the ball. Now for this, you want to make sure we get this one down because this is the one where we're gonna return to this move in between each move that we do today, okay? So it's super simple. It's just like what it is, is holding a ball with your arms, okay? So you're just gonna step out and you're gonna hold a ball. So you don't want a big giant ball up here. You don't want a super tiny ball where your shoulders are scrunched up. You just wanna have your shoulders be relaxed and have your ball here, okay? And so, because remember I said just a minute ago that we do everything on each side because we're going for our good balance, we're gonna step out and do it on the other side as well. Hold our ball, okay? So let's do that again. It's our very basic step. So we just step out, hold the ball, and step out again, hold the ball. Now one uh, note to remember with Tai Chi is that whenever you're stepping, you always want to step with your heel first. And what that does is that allows you to have more control over where you're stepping for one, and for two, it gives you greater control of your balance. So just remember, you always wanna step with your heel whenever we're stepping, okay? So let's do our hold the ball one more time. To the right, so we'll step out. Hold the ball, and step back to the left, hold the ball. Excellent. So now our next move is called part the wild horse's mane, and we're just gonna step out, and part the horse's mane. Looks very graceful, right? And then we go right back in to hold the ball. And we do the same thing on the other side. We step out, and hold the ball. Excellent. Now the next move is called single whip, and it has a couple of different parts to it, but we'll go ahead and go through it. So the first thing you're gonna do is hold your drippy tea bag out to the side, or the crane pose, if you wanna call that a crane, call it the crane pose. And then you step out again, push, rock back, toes to the front, 
and hold the ball. And then we do the same thing on the other side. So we hold our drippy tea bag or do our crane pose. We step out, push, rock back, toes to the front, and hold the ball. Okay? Now our next move is called waving hands like clouds. And the move sounds exactly like what it is. We're just gonna wave our hands in front of our face like a cloud, okay? And we're gonna take three steps to the right and then three steps to the left, okay? So we're just gonna step out. We wave our hand in front of our face like a cloud. Then we step together and wave. Here's our second step. Wave our hand and step together, wave. Now here's our third step. We step out, wave, halfway stop, and hold the ball. Then we do the exact same thing going back the other way. So we step out, wave our hand, and we step together and wave. Second step, wave our hand, and step together and wave. And here's our third step. We step out, halfway stop, and hold the ball. Excellent. So our next move is called Repulse the monkey. That sounds kind of, you know, crazy, right? But it's actually pretty fun. So here's why I want you to be careful though on this one. When you, oh, for this move, you're going to actually step backwards. So I want you to make sure you don't have anything behind you that you're gonna trip over when you step back. So no babies, no dogs, no rugs, no chairs, no anything like that, okay? So we're gonna step back. We're gonna stop that monkey from coming. We're gonna call all our friends to help us and hold the ball. Then we do the exact same thing on the other side. So we step back, stop that monkey, repulse that monkey, call all our friends to help us, and hold the ball, okay? The next move is called brush knee. Pretty simple, and again, it's telling you exactly what we're gonna do. So you're just gonna step out, brush both of my hands across my knees, and hold the ball. Same thing on the other side, step out, brush my hands across my knees, and hold the ball. Excellent. Now I am moving around just a little bit so you can kind of still see me in frame, so don't be alarmed by that, okay? So the next move is going to be um, uh, Fair Lady Work Shuttle. Sorry, I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> we have Fair Lady Work Shuttle. So you're gonna step out and just you're gonna make a pretty picture with your hands. Hand, hand, and then you hold the ball. Same thing on the other side. You step out, hand, hand, and hold the ball. That was move number seven. We are at move number eight, and we've already almost gone through the whole program. Look at that. So our very last pose um, is called uh, Grass the Peacock's Tail, okay? And this one has a couple of different pieces to it, but I'll walk you through it, so don't worry. Okay, so you step out, and you do kind of like you're doing with the part the wild horse is made. So hand comes up, and then you sweep it back up like that. And then it's kind of like you're holding a ball, like your ball of chi. You're gonna turn it, come down, hands circle at my hip, hands together, up, release my butterflies, rock back, push, and hold the ball. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So we step out, hands come up, up, grab my ball, turn it, Come down, hand at my hip, hands together, up, release my butterflies, rock back, push, and hold the ball. Excellent. So we actually went through all eight uh, forms for our Tai Chi. So we've ended in our hold the ball pose. So how we come out of it is that we just step out and we call this our Tai Chi neutral stance. So you just step out, and then you do another sunrise and sunset. So you go sunrise, deep breath in, and sunset, blow it out. And then you give thanks. Nile, that was an absolutely outstanding uh, demonstration. Thank you. I love Tai Chi. I had never done Tai Chi before Nile introduced it to me. And I absolutely love it. It is, it's calming, especially, you know, you, you put a certain music on that could help you to relax, but just in general, it really is a soothing um, workout. It's low impact, 
but it doesn't mean no impact. So you start moving around and twisting and stepping and trust me, you are going to feel it. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to Nalay. If you would like um, to get in touch with Nalay, please feel free to get in touch with me and I'll definitely put you in contact with her. Uh, but again, Nalay, thank you so much for that demonstration. Go out, practice your Tai Chi, get that balance together um, because we all need it regardless of your age. And again, this is not no impact. So be prepared to, to feel something. But the main point here is it doesn't matter what your age is, whether you're trying to get fit by 50 plus or not, the point here is to just get fit. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, if you think that this video could help you or someone that you know, feel free to hit the like button below. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And please, please leave me a comment. I would love to know what you think. Thanks.